I recently let one of my male friends stay with me for, it was supposed to be for two weeks. We didn't make it the full two weeks. Let me tell you what happened on the fourth day. Hey, beautiful people. I y'all doing today? Check out Mara Davis and I'm back again with another interesting video. So here's another story time by our beautiful sister over there. She's saying that she allowed a guy to stay with her and it backfired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and listen to what she has to say and I'll be back. I recently let one of my male friends stay with me for, it was supposed to be for two weeks. We didn't make it the full two weeks. Let me tell you what happened on the fourth day. So to give a little bit of background, I've known this guy for about two and a half years. He was one of the first male friends I made um, when I moved to Texas. I will say when we started, it was kind of like on a romantic, um, not kind of, we were like romantically seeing each other for a little bit, but that quickly fell off. Um, he was like a lot older. so. I was just like, we both were like, we don't see each other having a future, so let's just be friends. We both enjoyed each other's company, so we were like, okay, we can be friends. So so over the last two years, we've fallen off a few times. We like, we'll get into petty arguments, but I will say for the most part, it's him. Like his communication style is terrible. Like he just will blow up. He'll just like disappear. He'll block me and then like unblock me and then I'll block him and unblock him, blah, blah, blah. So about a year ago, he started talking about moving to South Africa and i'm like what are you moving to south africa for and he just was like it's cheaper there he has been working from home for years so he was like i can work remotely i'm not even going to tell my job that i'm leaving the country just going to go for a year and a half or so save some money etc cetera, etc cetera. so one day we were hanging out and he randomly brought up that he is like officially moving he already booked his plane ticket and he already has like his apartment ready to go in south africa but his lease ended like early in the month and his flight wasn't until two weeks later sometime like on the 14th or 15th of the month so he was like can i stay with you for these two weeks i'll give you like half the rent for that month um you don't have to worry about me like i'm just gonna I'm, i'll be like a fly on the wall basically and i was like you know what i might work all day anyway and like he is my friend he's been there for me plenty of times like with other things so i was like okay i'll that's fine with me two weeks by the third day, we were already arguing, like an old married couple. Mind you, we were not on a romantic level at all while he was with me. The third day I came home from work, he was sitting on the couch where he had been, where I had left him in the morning. So I come home from work and I'm kind of like getting myself together, um, putting my shoes away, blah, 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 you know, just unwinding from the day. And um, he randomly is like, so you're not gonna cook? Like, you're not going to make anything? <laughs> no, I'm not making anything. My immediate answer was, I already ate before I came. Which I hadn't, but I wanted to nip that right there in the butt. That, do not expect me to be cooking for you. Like, I said I would house you, but I'm not going to be cooking or cleaning up after you. Like, you're a grown man. I expect you to, like, find food for yourself. Like, if it was out of the goodness of my heart, like, I don't have a problem doing that. But for him to, like have the audacity to be like so you're not cooking mm -hmm. anything i was literally in shock so after that day that was like the third day the fourth day he said something else about like making food or cooking something i think i had ordered pizza and he was just like throwing in like his order like what he wanted or whatever and i was like okay i guess i can get that kind of pizza too. by the fifth day i was so sick and tired of him like i wanted him out so bad i felt like i couldn't even be on the phone I couldn't FaceTime my friends like I couldn't just like be in the comfort of my own home because he was there even though he wasn't really giving me a hard time I just like start I started to feel uncomfortable super quickly with having him there so I'm like ranting to one of my friends and telling her the situation and she's like girl you should ask him when his flight is because when mm -hmm. is his flight and I was like you know what that's true like I never really asked him when the flight was if he needed a ride to the airport like none of the details so I'm at work still, it was like 10 a.m., I still remember it. And I texted him, hey, by the way, like when is your flight and do you need a ride to the airport? He was like, oh, I meant to tell you that um, there, was some situ there were some issues with the apartment and I actually pushed my flight to the end of the month. Is that cool with you? Basically saying he wanted to stay for an additional two weeks. We were only five days in at this point and I was already ready to rip his head off. So I was like, no, you can't stay till the end of the month. So he immediately texts back. He's like, you know what? Don't ever worry about me again. I'll be gone before you get home from work. So I was completely fine with that. But 
I was like, I still want to talk about it. So I texted him back and I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm cool about with the end of the month. I wish you would have told me. When were you going to tell me that you changed your flight and that you needed to stay longer? Like you were just assuming that it was, I was going to be okay with it. And he wanted to have no conversation. He was like, I'll never try to um, rely on a woman ever again. Like basically calling me heartless and all this stuff. But yeah, when I got home from work that day, all of his stuff was gone. He had his whole like, he had his monitor set up that was gone suitcase gone shoes everything was like packed up and just gone and we haven't talked to this day but that was just a really interesting i don't know why he had to end it so like abruptly like i even texted him i said hey i have no hard feelings like we can still be friends i don't know why you felt like you needed to just like pick up and leave like that but i got my money and yeah the fact that one of you made a two hour live talking about the story time that I did is insane. There's not even enough, enough detail in that story to sit there and make a live for two hours. If I was a pick me, I would have cooked when he asked me if I could cook something for him. I would have allowed him to stay for as long as he, as long as he wanted to stay, but I made sure that he respected the agreement that we made. He was the one that wanted to end it earlier. I never kicked him out. Um, and even though I was telling you guys that I was super frustrated and I was just like annoyed with having him there, um, I never told him that. That was like more of an internal thing. I always um, let him know that he was welcome. He can use the kitchen, like make yourself at home, but don't expect me to be doing like girlfriend and wifely duties for you. Like we are just friends and I'm just housing you for these two weeks that turned into five days. I know that a lot of you are confused on why I remained friends with him or you think that I was trying to chase a friendship with him. I already kind of talked about that, but that's not what I was doing at all. I just didn't want to end um, on a bad note because we had been friends for, we had been friends longer than whatever our romantic situation was. That lasted like maybe a month, but we've been friends for two and a half years. So like, you know, it's not really on the same level, but I do understand the people that are saying, you know, once you cross that boundary, you can't really be friends. Um, I chose to continue to be friends with him. That was my personal choice. Um, so I think y'all are kind of like, some of y'all are reading into this way too much. But please let me reiterate again that I was not trying to continue my friendship with him. Um, I don't even know why I said the words, we can still be friends, because I didn't actually text that. Um, that's just kind of what came out when I was talking. But what I said was, I have no animosity. We are good. Um, I understand that he's like very emotional. Like he just like, his communication skills are terrible. They've gotten a lot better since like um, when I first met him. So I, um, like I understand, I grew up in a family where our communication was complete trash like it was always arguments and yelling and fighting any sort of communication between my parents and i was like a fight so that was kind of like nothing to me but i do understand that it's toxic um and i was not excusing it and lastly i want to address the blocking situation because a lot of people kept commenting that like why did you still have him in your life after he blocked you or you guys have had so many arguments etc first of all friends fight all the time and i know the way that you fight is important but a lot of people are in the comments um acting like they've never gone into an argument or a disagreement with their friends so the couple times that we blocked each other was because we got into like some sort of like political argument it was like a debate that had nothing to do with our friendship like it was just something that happened we started talking about it we were going back and forth and he's overly emotional as you guys know and he just kind of like took it way too deep and i really didn't care for it that much but because he blocked me then i blocked him so i was like okay cool like i'll wait till you come around like it's really not that serious to me um i understood that he has a lot of growing and maturing to do um and yeah so like i'm able to kind of filter things and not let things like um sink deeply if that makes sense like i don't like absorb like negative energy and things like that like as soon as he started like speaking in a certain way or raising his voice or like i could see that he was gonna just have an emotional blow up i would remove myself and well, some people drag down a comment section saying that you're selfish you're not a good friend why would you why can't you just allow your friend to stay and now you're trying to get back to him or something and just saying that oh we can still be friends after sending him out of your house and i'm like did we listen to a different story? Because that's not what's on my mind. Because, see, staying with a man, you would not know. See, you can be cool with them outside, but when you live with them, it's not even that can live in the same apartment with a man, especially if you are the one paying all the bills in the house and the man is just sitting down there doing nothing. You're going to be irritated. You're going to be pissed. And now him coming, he, you coming back home and saying that you should, you should cook, cook. Ah, I have just few stitches to share with you all. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. Let's go ahead and watch the stitches together, and I'll be back with my own opinion. I recently let one of my male friends stay with me for. It was supposed to be for two weeks. Okay, I'm sorry, but you let that happen to yourself, like a lot of other women do. You all allow yourselves to be treated this way. First of all, why are you taking in a man and giving him a place to stay 
and then you expect him to be a masculine man at the same time if he's taking from you then he's not a masculine man because feminine energy receives and masculine energy gives so if he's the one taking from you then he's feminine what shocked me though about your video is the fact that you still try to have a relationship or a friendship with this man you still tried to have a friendship with this man after he treated you this way after he was mad that you wouldn't continue to let him freeload off of you as soon as you set boundaries he straight up cut you off and yet you still yeah. wanted to talk to him why <laughs> why do you women allow yourselves to be treated like that a lot of the times the problem is not these men it's us because we accept that type of behavior and also you were so polite when he expected you to come home from work and cook something while he was freeloading on your couch why again why if it was me i would straight up tell him you were sitting on your ass all day how about you had cooked something before i got home since you want to be the woman maybe you should cook and i'll work let's trade places otherwise what's your purpose here why are you freeloading on my couch you've been here all day and then you expect me to come home and cook for you i would straight up tell him open your mouth don't be scared don't be afraid to stand up for yourself set boundaries and put these men in their place i recently let one of my male friends stay with me for it was supposed to be for two weeks i read something somewhere that talked about how men think that women love doing household chores like cooking and cleaning uh doing the little things oh the reason i brought that up is in this her story she talks about how the you know why he was staying with her she came home one time and he was he was like so are you gonna cook <laughs> he was home all day and he's asking her he just went to work are you gonna cook anyways no we don't like cooking and cleaning we we were conditioned to do it but we don't like it I enjoy it because I, I, I learned to enjoy it, but I don't like it. That's Let them know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. All opinions are accepted. If you put them down respectfully, hmm. was she wrong to not accept a guy? See, I feel like, first of all, I, do, I'm, I don't want to blame her for anything because it's, it's, it's okay for you to have a kind gesture to your male friend female friend anybody to come and stay with you but when they start misbehaving it's good as she said as i like for that she says her boundaries and she has to ask like when are you leaving so he has already changed his plans which he didn't tell her so if she had not asked that is how he's going to just be in the house she's going to be the one paying all the bills she's going to be doing everything and he would just be sitting down there doing nothing, expecting her to cook and clean after him. Cook for him, clean after him and all of that. Like, I just love the fact that she sets her boundaries and, and, and the fact that, I don't know why people are coming for her, like the fact that she's still going back to trying to, you know, clear things. I feel like she's just having um conscience beauty conscience like oh was i the one that pushed him away no she wasn't the one that pushed him away she just sent you set your boundaries like when are you leaving because you cannot come to someone's place and not have when you're leaving and you as a guy you cannot just sit down there and just allow things to just be working out for you just like that without you doing anything like it doesn't work out that way anyways let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section and here is my own thoughts okay and i'll see you all in my next video don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kindly turn on the post notification bell when you subscribe so you can get notified when i upload an interesting video like this one and i'll see you all in my next one